Hi guys, today we are going to have a new format of the videos devoted to IELTS preparation and this video is about preparation to IELTS reading module. And actually this video I decided to make as a format for those people who are lazy to go through the whole course and who want the teacher to help them step by step to review the strategy of working with specific types of tasks. So now we are going to see what is highlighting in process, what is identification of keywords, we will go through one part of IELTS reading module with several tasks and we will see how to complete them correctly. And if you're not my student, not a student of my IELTS strategy course and not the subscriber of this channel, make sure you subscribe and put thumb up for this video. That will help other people to see it as well and that will help this channel to grow and get new subscribers. So let's go with the slides which I will comment and where you will see in details how to work with the strategies of reading model. As you can see, we start with section number one text and actually the format which we will deal with today is general IELTS. So, you see the task first. You see the task for questions 1 to 6. There are five advertisements on the next page. Make sure you know what does the word advertisement mean and put it in your dictionary if you are not sure in the meaning. Answer the questions below by writing the letters of the appropriate advertisement in boxes 1 to 6 on your answer sheet. Your answer may require more than one letter. And there is a box with example. Which two advertisements have a website? So the answer is C and D. That means the expectation of the examiner as for your answer is a letter A, B, C, D, E because there are five advertisements you're going to look through and there is a letter for each of them. Let's see the slide. Here I would like you to pay attention on the three words. Appropriate advertisement or together appropriate advertisement and require. These are words belonging to academic vocabulary which you need to be familiar with to pass your IELTS successfully. That's why if you're not sure in the meaning of these words, put them in the list and make sure you take some notes uh, during this video. That will be helpful for you to have the full collection of academic vocabulary which is in this text and its tasks. Now we are going to see the list of questions and the list of questions is actually given to us before we are given the text itself, the text information. Why is that? Because actually when people say that IELTS reading is about reading text, that is not true. I always tell that IELTS reading is about analyzing the text information to get the answers for the questions. That's why the first, the very first thing, the very first step you need to go through is to see the questions for which you need to give answers because your answer is your point, your answer is your band score as a result of passing IELTS. So what we are going to do with the list of our six questions? We are going first to see what we are asked and to find keywords. First priority keywords and second priority keywords. What is the difference between first priority and second priority? I have in my other video, which if you didn't watch before, you need to come back to this video and watch it. I will leave you the link for this video. 
So this is about highlighting actually and about identification of keywords. There are two types of keywords, first priority and second priority. First priority, just, just briefly reminding you is um, the words or are the words which you will find in your text exactly in a variant they are given in your question. Those are usually some terms, names, dates, and so on. This is precise information which cannot be corrected or substituted with some parallel constructions or synonyms. While second priority words are some kind of words which can be given in a different format or given as synonyms, but actually they help you to check if you found the correct answer. They kind of help you to check your first priority keywords because sometimes for first priority keywords can be met in different parts of your text. So, talking about our list of questions, first question sounds like that. Which is the most luxurious hotel? So here, two words which actually are important or give a sense of what is asked are luxurious hotel. We understand ourselves that the most important are luxurious hotel. This is exact information we are going to search in our texts. In question number two, which advertisement is not for a hotel? So here, advertisement not hotel are the three words which give the basic sense of a question. So, which actually give us understanding of what we are going to search for. Question number three. Which hotel offers the cheapest deal for two people for one night? Here, cheapest for two people and one night. This is exact information we need to find in the text in order to get the answer. All the other words are important, but not essential and don't give us the basic sense of a question. Question number four. At which two hotels can you have a party? Here, if we find keywords making us understand what we are going to search, in the phrase two hotels, we can clarify already for ourselves that the answer which we found for question number two is not for question number four. Because there we were identifying question number two, not hotel. But here, exactly one of the hotels. Actually, we are going to search for two hotels, which means two advertising with the hotel where people can have a party. So we need some association with the party. We need some information about party in the advertising. Question number five. Which hotel helps you with water sports? So here the keywords are helps, sports. Actually, water is important as well. But first of all, you need to find the word sports, while water can be given in some other version. For example, you will find some sports like surfing, snoring and so on, which will actually mean type of sport, but which will not contain the word water. That's why there is no reason to search for the word water as a first priority keyword. Just search some sports and that will be okay for you. In question number six, we have the following question. At which place can you not make an advanced reservation? So here the keywords are not or no advanced reservation. This is exact information we are going to search. And now we can start working with our text. So let's see the abstracts of our text. Text A and B, C and D, and finally text E. For looking for the answer for question number one, for luxuries hotel, 
we need to know what right we need to know the price of the hotel wherever the price is higher that is going to be our answer the top luxury hotel so the price in the hotel in a advertising is 100 bucks or 100 dollars per night in guest house sunrise guest house advertising b it's 49.99 for double shared room in c we don't have any price given that's why we can hardly know if this advertising is about luxury hotel that's why we just move to d and check it there so we have price there which is 250 dollars a night and this is a starting point because they say that Sydney's most famous hotel with high-class luxury rooms from $250 a night. It makes it the most expensive so far. And let's check it. Here, Sydney Yoss Hostel. Of course, it can't be luxury, but let's check the price. The price is $25. So this way, the answer for question number one is D, where the price for one night is $250. Question number two is about advertising, not regarding the hotel. Here, we can check just the titles, because the titles contain the type of the organization. So in A, advertising, we have information about the Harbor View Hotel. That's a hotel. In B advertising, we have information about Sunrise Guest House. Guest House is actually also type of the hotel. In C, we have Sydney's Best Accommodation Agency, which means that here we are not having information about hotel but we are having information about the agency. That's why C is our answer. Let's check the rest of advertisements. D is about the Royal Hotel. It's definitely hotel. And E is about Sydney Yoss Hostel. Hostel is also type of cheap hotel, usually with one or two stars but it is also a type of hotel. That's why we keep it. In question number three, we need to find the cheapest deal for two people for one night. Two people, one night. This is important. That's why we go back to prices. And as you remember, in Harborview Hotel, we had $100 per person. That makes 200 for two people. In Sunrise Guest House is $49.99 double room, shared bathroom, so it's double room, it means this is a deal for two people. Then we go with D, not C, because C is an agency, and we are going to find the information as for the hotel. So D is an expensive one, it is $150. For one person, that makes 500 for two people. And finally, in E, we are going to have $25 per night, which makes it $50 for two people. That means that advertisement B contains the cheapest price, which is $49.99 for double room. And Sunrise Guest House is the cheapest option for two people. Actually, E is almost the same, but one cent more. So for two people, they will be $50. Close, but Sunrise Guest House is cheaper. Number four, 
Now we are going to find the hotel which can arrange the party. And actually not one hotel, but two hotels. That's why we will check the description of services of all the hotels and find all the information related to party arrangements. So let's start with A. Advertisement A contains the information that they have option for parties catered for. Where parties is actually given as it is. So you see, that is what I mean, the first priority keyword. You cannot substitute the word party with any other word. That's why you find it just the way it looks like. Let's see the Sunrise Guest House. 50 minutes from beach, bus road to city center, surf equipment, modestly priced restaurant. So we keep A as an answer and skip B because there is no information about parties. C. We can arrange all you need for accommodation from budget to five star. Nothing about parties again. How about D, the Royal Hotel? They're expensive, they should have some options. All airport transfers arranged for different restaurants, private beach to swimming pools, functions arranged. So, by functions here, and this is important actually, they mean some special events which they can arrange. So put functions as your academic vocabulary and that is our second answer in fact. Let's just check A. So in E they have dormitory sleeping, shared bed bathrooms, cheap restaurant, television room, travel advice. So as you see nothing about parties. So A and D are our answers for question number four. And now we move to our question about water sports. Question number five. And you could already notice some information about it actually. We had it in B, in Sunrise Guest House, where they told about having their surf equipment and which can be hired and also the beach, which is 15 minutes from them, the distance of 15 minutes. So that means that they are actually providing necessary equipment. And this is our answer. Answer B is the answer for question number five. And the last question, question number six. Here we need to find some place which does not let us to make a reservation beforehand. So no advanced reservation. Let's check the block with the phone and address because this is actually the block which is usually about the information on how to reserve. So the Harborview Hotel, they say for reservations, call, telephone and fax. That means they have reservation. As for B advertisement, they have telephone and fax as well. Sunrise Guest House, they have available phones. That means you can reserve beforehand. C or telephone, fax, check our website. So these are the options of communication, which means you can actually make some reservations for some available opportunities by this agency. D. For the luxury stay of a lifetime, call, telephone, fax, website. Another option for reservation. And E. No booking. That's what we are looking for. Just turn up. Rated one star hotel. So that means they say you that you cannot book the room. You just need to come. The address is given, phone is given, but it is mentioned before giving you phone and address that there is no booking. It is standard procedure for the cheap places like hostel, you just need to come and check available places, they usually have them, they usually find them, and you can use them.
So here we are done with reviewing our five advertisements and searching for the answers. And I showed you the way and let's say the algorithm of identifying the keywords in our questions first, then going to the text and looking for our specific keywords in the text or type of information in the text. So you need to understand what you are looking for. You need to know where to search and that is the way to succeed in IELTS reading. It is easier with IELTS general, it is more difficult with IELTS academic format because there the texts are bigger, the abstracts, the passages are uh, bigger in volume, more text, fewer pictures, fewer different kind of bold text and so on. So for general format, use the techniques I just showed you. Search for keywords all the time. You start with your questions. Find first priority keywords. If you didn't watch the video on the first priority and second priority keywords, go there. I leave you the link below or I will leave it in the corner and you will be able to switch to that video and check it out because that is essential thing for analyzing, not reading the text in house, but analyzing them. So, good luck with your IELTS preparation, with your preparation to read and model. I also have different videos as for speaking and listening, so you may check them out if you're not a subscriber of my channel or if you're not a student of my course. So go with those videos, they are also good for your preparation and don't forget about thumb up and subscription. Further videos are coming and thanks for joining. Good luck with your preparation. Bye-bye.